Nabe. Howdy, heartthrobs. Out on a solo tonight. Martin's got some gigs. Johnny ain't available. So, what better time to find a new spot that I've never been to before and try out some new kit that I've got. Um, just been sent the One Wind 11 foot hammock zippered, which looks okay. So I'm gonna be giving that a crack. This ain't gonna be reviews. I'll give you a quick look at it, but if you want to, the review will be over in my review channel. Lovely bit of woodland light. This is a woodland that I've used quite a bit before, but a completely different area to it. And I'm trying to find a spot that doesn't get used. Because the other area I, I have is uh, really nice, but you can get disturbed by dog walkers. And so far, this is looking quite good. If I cut through there, no one should see me. Anyway, I'm waffling now. Um, yeah, wood burning stove, meths burner. You know how it is, yada, yada, yada. Quick beer. Got me some burgers and noodles. It's wild camping, isn't it? Solo wild camping. See you in a bit. Pop man and pop beast to cook a roll kill feast for you. Nobby, nobby, nobby. You can find him in the woods, gonna wonder what he's up to. State surprise a hammer takes that way, yeah, he's no oil painting, that's for sure. When he don't suffer fools at all, he's got a friend with just one body. Down we know he loves us all, but we never let it show. No be, no be, no be, no be. Pop man and pop beast to cook a roll, kill feast for you. No be, no be, no be. You can find him in the woods, gotta wonder what he's up to. Right, so, I found this area that's completely surrounded by brambles. But it's nice and open in here, which is great. With the exception of one way in. There's swings and stuff here and people have been building here. But as you can see, this path carries on through to another area but that definitely is a used path I'm gonna risk it risk it for a biscuit all right let's find me a decent set of trees and get me hammock up hammock in hand 11 foot hammock, lovely jubbly. You want to see it going up, go and have a look at the review. Here it is. Boosh. Right then, so tonight, just to show you what I'm rocking, got me 10th Wonder Sargasso tarp, which I've decided is going to be my go-to tarp from now on. Because it's longer than my 3 by 3 and it covers the longer hammocks. Also got Velcro at the end, so you can shut it up like a tent. Great. I've got the One Wind. 11 foot zippered hammock which has buckle suspension tree straps 11 foot by 5 foot 2 ish wide with an adjustable ridge line blah 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 uh what's that 40d nylon ripstop really good ripstop the one with the little star patterns in it and an almost removable bug net i'm not going to go into all of it um if you're interested in it, I'll leave a little link either here or in the description. I've just done a review of it. It's me blubbering on, but it gives you a bit more of an insight into the hammock itself. I'll let you know how it goes, all that sort of shizzle. And the one Tigris underquilt winter edition, which is meant to do you down to about minus five. Now, what we'll do, I've got links I'm going to put below because one Tigris did send me this. So I haven't paid for it. They have given me affiliate links. If you do like what you see, I get a kickback each time you buy one, couple of quid, not bothered whether you do or don't. 
Um, but there's also a discount code in there as well, which is in the description and gives you 5% off. If you're not happy to buy anything through an affiliate link, because let's face it, I could be full of shizzle and say that it's a brilliant thing when it ain't, I'm liking the hammock. I'm not going to lie to you, I do like the hammock. People like Colin from Outdoor Gear Essentials do the full product range of um, One Wind. So if you go via them, I don't get any kickback, so there's no point me mentioning them. Apart from the fact he supports a lot of channels and supports a lot of people in our little corner of the internet. Um, you know, he donated a load of gifts to me when I'd done my charity ride earlier this year. I can't say fairer than that. So yeah, by all means, jump over to Colin and buy one. I don't get the kickback. A couple of quid ain't gonna bother me. Anyway, so yeah, that's me set up for tonight. I'm gonna scout round now and get some wood gathered for me wood burning stove. Might put a brew on, but it's gonna be a really chilled out night tonight. I haven't got ADHD and I didn't need to bring any crowns for Johnny. So yeah, just me, a beautiful woodland. I don't know why I'm shouting at you, this has got a good mic. Living the dream, that's what I am, I'm living the dream. Might even have a look for some mushrooms. Little tiny ones with a nipple on the end. Just kidding, honest. Anyhow, let me enjoy myself. Tap bite. So I'm not sure if you can make it out, but it is still fairly buggy. And I was hoping with the cold weather they would have returned to the depths of hell. So I'm either going to need to zip myself in my hammock or squirt a bit of deet on me. Neither of which I want to do. I could always just put a long sleeve top on, I suppose, couldn't I? You know, take the easy route out. Or get a little fire on the go and hope the smoke keeps them away. Oh, I'm proper enjoying this spot. My head don't add to the bleeding, uh, the beauty of it, but... Lovely. Loads of room. I've had a good mooch round. There are another couple of entrance ways which do lead directly to the external path. I haven't seen, heard, anyone. Is a rope swing up there and a couple of shelters. So obviously people do come here. There are also lots of other places I could tuck myself in, but I don't think there's any need to. I mean, the chances of me getting caught again are pretty slim and it don't matter. This is a public woodland. So, uh, at best, it's civil trespass, isn't it? All right. Let's get a brew on. Treat myself today, proper coffee with me mocha pot. I forgot I had one and I watched a London Outdoors vid the other day where he went out for a brew. I thought, do you know what? Why rough it? Just got to remember that that base gets bloody hot. Trust the old uh, Swedish Trangia stove. Lovely jubbly. Some strong, strong coffee. That went better than expected. That'll do. Screw her on. And away we go. Look at that. I love camping in the woods.
See, that was meant to be a hack to show you how to take the gleam hot thing off without touching it. Instead, I just wedged it in my mouth. And to put your stove out. Oh, a proper filter coffee. Oh yeah, that is strong. It is good, yeah. It is properly quiet here. Yeah. Just what the doctor ordered. As I say, nothing fancy for lunch. I've just got a couple of burgers, some backup noodles, a wagon wheel, and I'm literally gonna kick back, get some music in my ears or a podcast or something, and chill out for the night. This ain't gonna be a rip roarer. I've had a scout around, plenty of different sorts of mushrooms and that around. Um, I don't know enough about them to pick them. There are a couple that I do know, I'm still not gonna pick them. Um, but yeah, what a stunning bit of woodland. I can make out road noise, don't give a monkeys, that'll calm down when it gets dark. Time is now, just coming up to four o'clock. Gotta start getting dark in a couple of hours, that's when I'll get me fodder on. Probably do it on my wood burning stove because I've already collected a load of twigs. Not gonna have a fire tonight, no need. Bought out my Snowbird minus three um, sleeping bag, which is gonna be overkill, but it's gonna be toasty. This underquilt, I can feel it working, which is good. I might have a look at getting a one wind underquilt purely so I can share out my kit when other people come out camping with me because they always use my DIY stuff, which works. But it's getting cold. Well, a couple of terriers just found me, swiftly followed by the people walking them. No worries. <laughs> there must be more than one way in. Damn it. You know, at least they're out enjoying the woods. Well, gotta say, I am properly impressed with this hammock. Seriously comfy. Ah. I reckon, just wait for that sun to go properly down. I'll fire up me wood burning stove and get me burgers on. I've only bought one beer. Maybe another pot of coffee, you never know. What a spot. Don't know how much you're gonna see, I don't care. Chilling in me hammock.
do love that little wood, wood gas stove. I can't talk today. Do like that little wood gas stove. Does burn a bit hot, but when it does get going again, as you can see, I was down to embers then and I slung a couple of things in it. And there are definitely flames within a few minutes. Some burgers go back on. Happy days. Oh, we nearly went for a burn. Very plain, didn't bring any sauce or anything, or salad. A couple of bits of meat in bread. I've had that wood burning stove for about five years. Works a treat, rusty as hell. What can you say? Not the best burger in the world, very tasty still. Just want some quick food, to be honest with you. I've got some uh, noodles with me and all. And a couple of sticky treats, a brownie, and uh, what else have I got? Wagon wheel, yeah. Anyhow, fat bloke eating. Right, well as you can see, the light's just about gone. I've got lamps and stuff like that, but that is cooling me. I've eaten, I've abluted, packed and tidied, just to kind of let me, uh, my little stove cool down, pack that away. I'm up nice and early, probably get up about half five. I think my missus is coming to pick me up for seven. So yeah, got to walk out. Might even walk home. I doubt it though, because I'm a bit of a fat, lazy bastard. Anyhow, I'll be back in the hammock next time I speak. I look a lot better in dark. It's been a proper chilled night. This hammock is comfy as hell. It's only seven o'clock. Joe Rogan podcast in me ears. That's seen me through till ten. Uh, might have another coffee or something, but I can't see a lot happening tonight. It's already dark. So I might get a proper night's kip. Oh. Sleeping bag is proper toasty. Under quilt is working well. Not going to get much of a night lapse purely because there's too many trees. But I'm a happy chappy. You can all do me a favour. Um, over the last year or so, this channel's been dying on its ass, which is fine. I don't make money out of it. I haven't made enough to keep me in meths. But the best way for you to support this channel is just like and comment. Let the algorithm find it. Or don't. I do have t-shirts and crap, but who wants my face on them? I'll get it. <sighs> Anyhow, unless something exciting happens, I'll be seeing you in the morning. Morning. Well, it's half past five. And I slept like a bloody log. <sighs> Probably actually went to Kip at about 11 o'clock. Uh, and slept right the way through. Yep, happy with the hammock. I did slip down a little bit, not a huge amount. Yeah, really comfortable night. Quite a cold evening though. But there you go. I think I'll get me a coffee on and start packing up and take a trudge over to where my wife is picking me up. Happy days. Right, all packed up. No trace left, with the exception of a couple of small snap twigs down there that was for my stove. Proper good night, proper chilled. Uh, the bird song's just starting up, ish. Not very loud here, compared to the normal spots. Sun is sort of appearing over there, must be about quarter to seven. Um, 
it's warming up, so I need to take this bleeding jacket off. And then got a quarter of a mile walk to the car where my good lady will pick me up. As I said last night, if you want to support the channel, by all means, you can get all the other crap, the t-shirts and stuff, no need. Or just like and comment on these vids. It does make a lot of difference. Apparently, I don't know, I'm a bloody technophobe. Until next time, Maybe a wood pigeon will save the bacon grill till morning.